If you are the kind of person that grew up reading comic books, or maybe you're the kind of person that still enjoys comic books. Maybe you're the kind of person who's dreamed about creating comics, but you don't quite have the skill set to sketch the way they do. Well, I want you to stay tuned because we have quite the tool for you. So if you want to make comics just like this, we're going to use a tool called comicsmaker.ai to create it. So first thing you're going to do is head over to comicsmaker.ai and you're going to go ahead and create your own account. Now over here, we see the pricing structures, not bad for as a hobby and as a enthusiast a comic enthusiast you've got for five dollars a month you get a thousand credits it's just going to generate a thousand images for you uh, not bad for for free though in the freemium version we've got a hundred credits that we can use to play around with and if you're thinking about taking this seriously it's not going to break the bank at ten dollars a month and once we've created an account it's going to bring us over to our dashboard here what i quite like about it is we can change the look and feel i quite like the white background so we're going to go ahead and change that now and then we're going to go to the create function. Now we can also change the font. We can choose from a collection of comic fonts. We can even change the page size. So that's great. Now I'm going to go and call this something that's uh, just piqued my interest. The curious case of the lost postcard. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and generate that. So I've created it now. First place we go to is this characters function over here. We can choose from the gender that we want. And then the race that we want as well. So there's quite a few of those to choose from. And uh, we're going to give it a celebrity name as well. So mine is going to be a Spanish superhero named Jose. We can choose from an array of art styles. I'm going to go ahead and try the DC Marvel function. And the scene, it's going to give us a scene that we want to put this character in. So I'm going to give it a prompt. And I can choose from an array of camera angles, which is fantastic. And then if I come over here to this prompt section, it'll be able to show me exactly what prompt it has given. Now, the cool thing about this as well is the negative function is going to tell us what we don't want in the image. So let's go ahead and make sure that we're happy with those parameters and let's see what images it's going to create for us. So it's given us a, a few choices here, not very superhero-like in nature, though I like the fact that the setting is decent so let's rework this prompt. I'm going to make a few more adjustments to it. And let's see now, it, once I've made those adjustments, let's see if it creates a much better result. Okay, and these are the new results. Not quite superhero in nature, but um, you know what? That's not bad. We can definitely work with that. Now that we have this character, we can go ahead and save it. And we can also go ahead and play around a bit more. So I'm going to try and create a different character. So let's go ahead and look for a female African superhero type character. I'm going to change the parameters a bit and let's see what it can create over here. Okay, so all in all, that's a really good character. It's not quite in keeping with the same art style as uh, as the previous character, but that's okay. Now we can also go ahead and put the seed number specifically into this character so that it can generate more um, characters in line with exactly this character. So that's a great function that it has as well. Now let's go ahead and create a page. The thing that you need to understand with the interface on Comics Maker is that each page needs to have its own set of characters, its own set of tools. So over here, first thing that we do is if you see we have these uh, tabs over here, so we've got AI art, the uploaded and characters and panels. Now specifically for this page we're allowed to access all the characters that we've created over there which is fantastic so if we wanted to create a comic out of these characters over here this is all we would need in order to complete this page the other thing that i like about uh, comics maker is that there's a discord group that we can go into and that group is going to have a whole lot of resources that we can use. The interesting thing is that this is very new. Uh, if you look back to the first post, we're looking at May 2023. So it's a new tool as well. And it'll probably be improving drastically over time. And then the other cool thing is you have the guides page, which will show you a whole lot of video tutorials about how to create exactly what I'm about to show you. For the sake of our tutorial now, I'm going to go over to Mid Journey and pull up a couple of images from the Mid Journey Explore page so that we can use those in our comic. Once I've found a couple, 
I'm going to head over to a new page and I'm going to go to the upload function. Now the important thing to remember is you can only upload one photo at a time. It'll only recognize one photo at a time and you must save each one after you've done so. So we're going to start off with our first image. In our editor over here, we've got our panels. So I'm going to go ahead and add a panel in. I can adjust it just as big as I want it. Once I'm happy with the sizing there, then I can add the image in. All I need to do is click on the uploaded image. I don't need to drag. I just need to click on it. And there you go. Our image is inside and now we can move it around. We can change the size of the panel. We can change the size of our image. We can show exactly where we want to zoom into the image as well. That's a lot of fun. And as soon as we're happy with that, then we can add a speech bubble to it. So what is our character saying at this point? And after we've placed that exactly where we want it, we can go ahead to the next function. So now we can add our heading in over here, put it at the top of the page. We can go ahead and add our next image, which is a postcard. Okay, great stuff. So now that we've added the postcard in, now we can adjust the text over here. So we're gonna add our narration function, which is pretty cool so that we can continue to create this the thread of our story, which is a lot of fun. The interface is very simple to use. Uh, it's not quite intuitive, but you know what? It'll get the job done. You just have to know uh, exactly how to use it and you'll get to know it the more you play around with it. Okay, and once we're happy with that, we're gonna go ahead and save the page and now we can actually preview it. If we're happy with it, awesome. I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, create another page and I'm gonna upload a couple of new characters for this second page. So we've got our uh, African superhero over here. So we're gonna go ahead and add her in. Okay, then we add some narration to it, which is pretty cool. Okay, we add the speech bubble again upload a few more images. Again, you can use the AI art function. It's purely up to you. I must say I had a lot of fun building each of these panels and putting these pages together. And if, you've, if you're a comic fanatic, you'll do a much better job than I did, but it's very user-friendly once you know what to expect from the software. So here we go. I'm gonna add in some more text. And here we, we have our first, uh, here we're gonna have our first introduction to our villain see what he says over there okay ha 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 he is indisposed indefinitely okay once we're finished we can then preview our page and see okay are we happy with it and I see that there's some stuff that I need to change just in terms of a simple edit so I go ahead and I can make those changes okay so now within a new page we're going to look at the create art function and this is where we're going to explain some of the functionality right this is where you get to take the characters that you've already created and apply them to various scenarios so over here on the right you'll see that we have our prompt and the cool thing about it is if we put the at sign in we'll be able to access our characters now we can give a prompt uh, that will immediately allow us to prompt comicsmaker.ai to create something linked to what we've already created. So let's put it in a prompt and see what it comes up with. Now, a couple of things that are very important here. We've got the negative prompt as mentioned before. The things that we don't want in this image, we can then highlight over here. If we scroll down a bit further, we'll see over here that we can remove the background, we can improve the face, we can even upscale the image. Just below it, the CFG scale is the classifier free guidance, basically, the higher this number, the more it follows your prompt. The lower the number, the less it's going to follow your prompt and be more creative. Then the number of steps just determines the quality of the image. The higher the steps means the better the image, but it will also take a while to produce. And then the sampler is a different kind of art style that you can use or a different effect for each image that you're creating. And if we come down here to seed, that is the unique code of your image as well. So if you find an image that you really like, you can plug in the seed over there and use that one specifically. So for me, 
I quite like the uh, this image over here. So I'm going to type in the seed number so that this character can be maintained through the image. So let's go ahead and see what she what it creates. Okay, so interesting. I think the, the prompt will definitely need to be improved, but that is pretty good considering the, the setting that we've created. Then we can also use a, a source image to generate the kind of picture that we want. And what we do there is we upload the image, we change our settings, and now we can apply the same prompt and let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so that's actually not bad considering it's taken the image and it's used it in, in keeping with what we've created. Then there's the use control net function. Okay, and what we do here is that we have a whole lot of functions that we can we can use in this drop down menu, we can convert an image to art, we can scribble to art. So there's a lot of functionality here that we can use. So if I go ahead and if I draw a horse and with someone on it, and I say that, okay, this is going to be Matilda riding a majestic brown horse. Let's see what it creates over here. Wow. Okay. The face is not great, but that horse is definitely majestic. And from here we can upscale the image and see how it really changes the image over there. That's really cool. Faces are not great. I would up the steps on that and really just work on that a bit. But let's add in a title to our page and then we're going to add this page in to our entire comic book. Now the cool thing is we can reorder all our pages and at the end of it, we can download it and then let's see what it's created. Wow, look at that. My goodness, I never thought I'd be able to create my own comic in under half an hour. That is pretty awesome. And look at that. And the more that you play around with it, the more that you'll actually enjoy it. Now, this is a great tool if, if you're a comic fan, but if also if you're someone who uh, spends a lot of time creating interesting um, artwork for people. So that was comicsmaker.ai, a great tool for making comics and something that you can have a lot of fun with for free. Remember, all the links you need will be in the description below. And as always, if you've enjoyed this, remember to like and subscribe for more content just like this.